1981. So how does this translate? The average monthly Social Security check is about $1,600, and beneficiaries could see an increase of about $132 per month in early 2023, bringing the average check to about $1,800. I really think we need it. There's no question. I do quite a few people that are on disability and, and Social Security, and there's no question that th it hasn't been keeping up with the daily. So far, a new bills have been passed. The lawmakers in several states are urging that residents take action to claim this available stimulus money before an upcoming deadline. So you may qualify for it right now, so you want to continue watching this video. Millions of people already received their tax rebates, but there is still time to get the check. State officials have confirmed that refunds started heading into the residents in Massachusetts who filed their returns on November 1st. The state didn't really introduce a fixed rebate as Americans will receive 14% of their personal tax liability instead of the whole amount. And according to NBC News, a worker that made $50,000 last year and paid the state $2,500 is likely to receive an around uh, 350 bucks. More than 3 million rebates were actually expected to be issued by December 15th. Officials say there is still time to claim the payment. The state has also revealed that they plan to send rebates worth $150 million to taxpayers who didn't even file their taxes by October 17. Americans that have not submitted their tax returns should do so by September 15th. But, friends, uh, officials say that taxpayers should be prepared to wait around a month after receiving a check. Checks will be sent via mail and to those who don't even have direct deposit. Many other tax rebates are being rolled out across the country, but shortages have forced Americans to wait for cash. For instance, people in Hawaii were hoping to receive tax rebates of as much as 300 bucks in their pockets back in September, but a paper shortage meant that taxpayers were facing delays. Americans that filed the tax between now and December 31st can expect to receive their mail checks within 12 weeks. The millions of Indiana residents were left waiting on paper checks, while those who had direct deposit enjoyed the rebates. Individuals are due 125 bucks, while married couples who filed jointly will get 250 Indiana's automatic tax rebate started going on in May and was expected to be completed by September. But as of right now, the state's working on returning nearly $545 million in taxpayer money. The millions of Californians are still also due to receive the middle class tax refund as the state's way of easing the pain of inflation. But consumer prices rose again 7.1% last month compared to a year ago, continuing a month-long decline from a four-year record reached over the summer. Economists have predicted a CPI index of 7.2% increasing, and monthly inflation fell significantly. Prices rose 0.1% in November, cooling down from a 0.4% increase in October. The top contributor to the monthly price increase came from shelter costs, which rose 0.6% in November. Food prices also jumped over the month, rising 0.5%, and now prices fell for a host of goods, including gas, used cars, and medical services. Speaking at the White House today, Joe Biden said the inflation report was welcome news. He said that in a world where inflation is rising at double digits in many major economies around the world, inflation is coming down in America. But makes no mistake about it, prices are still too high. We have a lot more work to do, but things are getting better, heading in the right direction. So the decline in inflation follows a strong, aggressive rate hike from the Fed, aimed at bringing prices down to normal levels. The inflation data arrives a day before the Fed is expected to impose another borrowing cost increase. Economists predict the Fed, predict the Fed, Fed will raise interest rates by 0.5 again for their meeting this Wednesday. So, Biden also stated that the decline in inflation is following huge rates and regressive rate hikes from the Fed. By raising borrowing costs, the Fed has tried to slash inflation by cooling the economy and choking off demand. The approach, however, risks tipping the U.S. into recession and putting millions of more people out of work. So far, however, the labor market has proven resilient, bolstering the hopes of policymakers seeking to avert a shutdown, but also raising fears of a prolonged bout of inflation, driven by wage gains and such things. Hiring last month ex exceeded uh, expectations, and wages grew again to a blistering 5.1% compared to a year earlier. However, offering welcome relief for workers strained by price hikes is something new, and the president has to do something about this. I hope that President Biden can do more for the American people, but this is all the information I have about the Ford stimulus check. You won't believe this news from the IRS. Millions of Americans are still waiting for the refund checks to arrive. The IRS confirmed that a growing pack backlog of tax turns, and this may affect many Americans that have received stimulus payments. So um, uh, millions of taxpayers are still waiting for the return to be processed, with an already massive backlog at the IRS growing even larger in the past year. Some labor shortage that exists in American agriculture. Today, America's farmers and ranchers are short more than 100,000 workers all across this country to plant seeds, to pick berries, 
to, to raise and cattle and do the hard, essential work of feeding this country. It's why growers all across America are banging down the doors of this capital, pleading with us to fix the broken H-2A system for farm workers. It is obvious to everybody who's had anything to do with this system that it's completely broken. There is no argument that could be made that it's not. To start, the H-2A program isn't even open to year-round jobs. That's just the beginning of the trouble. That's every dairy in America who has to milk their cows two or three times a day, including the holidays. It's every mushroom grower, or livestock producer, horse breeder that needs those year-round visas. The H-2A program is also hopelessly and embarrassingly outdated. To qualify for a visa, this ancient program requires farmers to put a physical advertisement in a local newspaper, if there is a local newspaper, if they can find one. They can't advertise online. That's prohibited in the year 2022. And you have to reapply for the H-2A visa every single year, which is an incredible burden on farmers and on, and on and farm workers. It's the last thing they need. And finally, the existing program does nothing to protect farmers from dramatic spikes in labor costs from year to year. They can't plan with the, for the future. They have Here is the breaking news with the fourth stimulus check that you definitely want to know. For those of you that reside in the state of Virginia, well, taxpayers in Virginia will likely get some money back this year. The General Assembly is expected to approve one-time rebates to eligible state income tax filers, but lawmakers are still debating how much. Unlike some tax policy proposals, the campaign promise from the governor has won broad, bipartisan support. The governor also proposed his own version of the plan with a smaller price tag. State officials have said, we want to have the largest tax rebate in the history of Virginia. Now, other representatives in the state is also carrying the version of the bill supported by the governor. It will pay individuals up to $300 and married couples up to $600. A more modest Senate plan features the, most, features the amount proposed by Governor by the governor at $250 maximum for individuals and $500 for married couples. Now, progressives, everybody, are hoping to turn up the heat on Chuck Schumer in an effort to push climate action across the congressional finish line. Negotiations on the Build Back Better bill and Biden's climate and spending package have been going on since late last year, after Manchin has expressed concerns with President Biden's plan. But progressive groups are now amping up the pressure. They see Manchin's comments in recent weeks as signaling an openness, an openness to spending on climate issues and are pushing leadership to bring the issue to the forefront. In his own words, Chuck Schumer promised the Senate will forcefully, insistently, and urgently address climate as the greatest threat to our country. But according to